Hey, good evening, everybody. This is Shane Shua, a.k.a. DBA Shane, coming at you with another video. In this video, hopefully this scenario does not happen to you. But if it does happen to you, at least you'll be prepared for it. I need to switch over to the root user so I can make some changes in the files. However, yeah, let's see here. Let me type this. Switch the user root and put in what I thought was my password, but I forgot the root password. <clears throat> so I can't make any changes, of course, because I forgot the root password. But all is not lost. Let me show you how you can reset your root password so that uh, you won't have issues with this. First, I'm going to shut this down I'm gonna power off the instance shut it down okay now that it's off I'm gonna restart restart this baby up here okay it's gonna come back up then I'm gonna press any key to enter the menu you get this grub menu here, right? This down. And then, now that you have this grub menu, on the kernel, you just move this to the kernel that you want. This one right here is fine. I put it on the kernel here, and I type the letter E for edit, because I want to edit it. Here. Okay coming back in then I type I want to go to this kernel right here I'm gonna type E again because I want to edit now I've got this prompt okay now at the end of this prompt here I'm gonna do space and I'm gonna type the word single then I'm gonna hit enter it's going to do, okay, came back to the kernel here. Now, I'm going to type the letter B as in boy for boot. Now, we're going to boot that kernel. And we're going to reboot here. coming back up I should get a prompt shortly here you know this is helpful if you forget your password or if somebody leaves the company and didn't want to give up the password just reset it okay so now I'm at my prompt then I'm gonna type P A S S W D and you see changing password for root. So now I'm going to change it to something that I will remember. Enter it again. Okay. So now it says that it's, so let me type exit since the password has been updated. Then this should reboot to my regular screen. Should not be too long now. All right. So a regular screen. So let me go here. Other username root, and then the password which I just made. And look, voila! 
I am now able to log in with the password that I just changed. Again, this can come in handy if you either forget your password for the root or if you know you have somebody leave the company and they didn't want to give up the password. You know, you don't have to worry about knowing their password, just reset it. See, if I go to terminal, see, root. Okay, this was a pretty short video. That's all there is for it. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.